Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I have a variety of Planet Side 2 clips for you all, um, from over the past week or so. And this here, obviously, is me starting off playing as the Vanu in, uh, one of their lightning tanks here. And we are pushing forward onto this new conglomerate base. I was with a uh, big squad of eight guys. Well, I guess that's not all that big, but it's larger than what you have seen in my other videos. And uh, yeah, me and a few other guys were pushing forward here. And uh, while you guys watch us chase this other tank, I am going to go ahead and tell you uh, what is going to be coming soon to my channel with the planet side. And these guys that I'm playing with are part of it. Um, I am working with an old group of friends. Uh, if you guys, some of you may have seen my older Mountain Blade videos with the regiment, you know, the line battles and stuff. Uh, basically an organized unit. Well, all those guys were getting back together to do that again for Planet Side 2. And uh, this time it will probably prove to be a lot more interesting because Planet Side is so dynamic where those line battles got kind of, you know, repetitive over time. So because of how large the maps are and the unexpectedness of the battles, um, having a large group of guys communicating is going to be fun. And I am leading one of the squadrons for our um, our little clan, Unvanquished Gaming, and I will be in the Air Force, uh, so you guys will be seeing a lot of flying gameplay on the Vanu uh, with the Scythe, the fighter, and then, you know, sometimes we'll go on to the ground and stuff, but uh, you guys are going to get some really in-depth live commentaries where you're hearing large groups of people communicating tactically and uh, it's not just going to be a bunch of people talking we have it set up so you know the squad leaders are talking with the head of the clan and uh, the rest of the people are just listening to them although in my comm you will probably hear quite a bit more because with the fighters it is essential that everyone communicate uh, not so much with the infantry where they can just be told where to go and and uh, what to do because you know in the fighters we're gonna have to help each other out if there are other enemies on our tail that kind of stuff but uh, you'll be seeing some of that and later on this video you're gonna see my first time flying one of the scythes I'd done a little bit in a reaver and this is the scythe and I'll have a lot more gameplay of that for you soon so my first run later on you will see was uh, okay I got a few kills Nothing great, but now I have uh, become way more proficient, unlocked quite a few things for the Scythe, and I can't tell you guys when the first video is going to be coming out. We haven't actually, uh, we're still setting everything up, but that is what's to come, and uh, look forward to that. But back to this gameplay. You can see here we're attacking a tech plant, and part of it is owned by the new conglomerate, part of it by the Terran Republic. And we are just kind of coming in, and uh, we have a Sunderer here, so we don't own any of the buildings. So we're just here causing problems. And it's going fairly well, but this is a pretty large three-way battle. You can't actually see all of it because of the building, but off to the right there is uh, quite a few... And I'm getting repaired right here. Quite a few of the new conglomerate troops, which you all will get to see a little bit later. And uh, I'm also going to show a little bit more of this my first time actually recording while I was sniping and uh, it wasn't one of you know the really good runs but I was like eh you know I generally manage to do pretty well as sniper I'll go ahead and record because I don't record the entire time that I'm playing planet side because it's not like around a battlefield where you know it's 10 minutes and uh, that's that. You don't know when you're gonna get something interesting so you know if it's one of these battles and such I will uh, probably record but I'm starting to record more just because you don't know when stuff is interesting and right here my squad was telling me go uh, follow this tank and I'm gonna kill the guy repairing it and he was the driver so that tank now no longer has a driver but I'm gonna get taken out from a shot from one of the cannons on the base back there and uh, I can't remember I believe it might have been new conglomerate not sure uh, you guys can see 
or look at that and uh, decide if you actually you know care what it is but here's just some sniping gameplay and in a second here I'm gonna have kind of a fail I'm gonna see this guy and I'm gonna pop around this corner and there's gonna be tons of guys right here and I'm just firing and I'm getting hit markers on a ton of them but I can't hit any of the same guys twice so I'm not gonna get any kills out of that mob just uh, severely damage quite a few of them here I'm backing up and I'm just gonna shoot that guy and down he goes and then I'm actually gonna blow up on this life and then have kind of a funny moment uh, with the recon in a second here once I end up dying so you can see I just got taken down killed by Rodmore Rodmore interesting name and so I spawned in and saw this guy on the mini-map behind me and uh, all of this was within my first hour of playing as the Vanu on our the server that my clan will be operating on mostly we're gonna have um, you know our main things gonna be Vanu but uh, we have other servers that we have it set up for new conglomerate and TR I just don't know how often that will be but I'm gonna bring you guys gameplay of both of those anyways because I have characters on all those servers and well most of it will be from this server since this is where I need to level up my guys I will show you guys some more new conglomerate stuff definitely because uh, there's the one server that a few of my friends and I play on and then some TR eventually and this guy shot him twice but it didn't actually take him down so wasn't very good shots and that guy I'm gonna get a shot into and look at this I see his feet underneath that barrier and I was trying to shoot him I missed I don't know if you can actually hit them like I clearly missed but uh, I don't know if that's a spot where you could actually do that and finish him off But right here I'm just taking some stray rounds but I'm invisible and now I'm stuck between two enemies and so I'm gonna take out this guy uh, terrible aim and then there was that guy on the turret I really should have taken him out but I come over here and I start shooting that guy two shots doesn't kill him they turn around and uh, kill me and that was just kind of a little fail moment there that I threw in for you all and so here it is you can uh, see that I have no unlocks for this or you'll be able to notice that considering that I don't use anything but this gun and don't go faster uh, due to the speed boosts and stuff but this here was my first time flying a scythe I set up my keys uh, the way that I figured I would like them and uh, went ahead and took off and you can see this liberator down below he's gonna try to land and repair and I'm just gonna shoot him so uh, there was really no getting out of that for him and I'm just gonna start chasing down all these mosquitoes here because they're um, over where the rest of my squad is you can once again see all those guys in the squad that is to the right of my mini-map uh, communicating with all of them in the TeamSpeak channel and we're going after this base down below and I'm just trying to get some of these air vehicles off of them be a distraction and uh, still figuring out my aim right now so you know I am meeting some success because of the fact that I fly quite a bit in Battlefield 3 and it's really not all that different um, and this guy really close when he actually blows up someone else got in the last shot uh, but I got a really high assist for him but yeah just trying to be a distraction take some of these uh, air vehicles away from shooting at the ground targets who are trying to take the base down below you can see that squad waypoint that is where uh, my friends are which I am flying over right now so this was my first run in it as I have said uh, so you'll notice at some points I'm seeming to get it right other points it's just like what what exactly are you doing uh, flying the vehicle wasn't the problem it was just figuring out how the aim is because in battlefield I have the jets aimed down to where I can shoot people you know far off close up uh, anything I know the lead and right now I'm trying to figure that out figure out how much lead I need to give how quickly these rounds travel and such and uh, right there I 
did not know that I only had two shots left, so I was hoping to do more damage to that tank. But I am going to chase after this guy here. And there he goes into the sky. So I'm going to start trying to shoot him down. And getting a few hits, he's starting to smoke. And uh, one thing I definitely like about this game a lot more is uh, the fact that the ships actually have ammo. You can get wrecked in Battlefield by an aircraft the entire game, and uh, they they have infinite ammo. That guy's going to crash, so nothing much good for him there. But a little bit after that, I chase after one guy and uh, end up getting swarmed by a ton and die, so nothing much more to see there. That was my first little run. Expect a lot more soon. Um, I'm loving the air vehicles. But this here was just kind of a funny moment with Mike and Huge back on our new conglomerate uh, server, so we were watching an air battle, and then I start driving down here, and just tons of enemy tanks come around the corner. So uh, we're like, oh, well, we're pretty much dead. And this tank's trying to get around behind me to do more damage. I'm going to get off a really nice shot on him. That's almost going to destroy him. Um, but we're going to have to bail out of there before we explode. And both Mike and I are going to make it away successfully. So I'm going to speed it up as we're just trying to figure out how to get around these tanks and we get back to this point tons of enemies all around Mike's just gonna run across the road and uh, be per perfectly fine with tanks to his left and right and those infantry you saw then since he's light assault he's gonna jetpack top and I am going to keep going and I see this guy on the minimap behind me trying to run me over uh, he ends up jumping out and I get to kill him without taking any damage there so he probably wasn't too happy about that but in every FPS guys minimap awareness it will save you a ton of times and uh, right there I was especially watching it just because we were completely surrounded I was just trying to see if anything was uh, around but Basically, it's just Mike and I down here, surrounded by enemies, and over that direction you can see that uh, we in fact own that tech plant, so we're just behind enemy lines, and uh, we have a ton of men pushing forward, although a lot later in the end um, they're going to end up taking the base, but right here... We ended up dying. We jumped off of there. Uh, Mike suicided. I went to pick him up and got shot. Uh, so we're going to spawn back at the base we originally came from. You can see all the tanks are still here, but we're on the flashes. And we're just going to try to go around the flank. So Mike's right behind me. And uh, at this point, I'm going to take this jump here and land. And Mike's flash is going to flip over and <laughs> kill him. And you don't actually see it. Um, but, you know, that's what happened. And when I turn around here... You'll see that he died, so I almost took a missile in the face there. That would have sucked. There he is, dead over there. And I'm about to run and go get him when he respawns. So uh, I would have had backup for this, but the fact that I don't kind of almost makes it a little bit more epic. This is going to be a fun little run that in the end is doomed to die and uh, fail. But... I am now alone behind enemy lines, and there's a ton of guys up in these towers and stuff, so I'm just going to try to go and surprise them. So at this point, I'm watching, making sure they're not looking this way before I move across the road. And I'm trying to find the door to this building. Go in and kill these guys. And there it is, so I'm going to run up the stairs. Um... I, at this point, I really should have went a little bit more slowly, because this guy's actually going to run down. I don't know if he was looking for me or just moving, um, but, you know, I should have known that there's probably guys inside of the building as well, rather than just on top. And right here, I'm just trying to wait for a chance to get a good shot on that guy, and uh, I am going to take him down. So I'm going to run back down and out of this building. I thought there were stairs over here, but there's not... So we're going to go down this way, and uh, I'm going to just start jumping from these little watchtowers, as you can see in front of me, from tower to tower, uh, trying to take out some guys. So here we go, going up the first one, 
and there ends up being no one up here, but from here, I can see, one, the battle going on, so I'm looking around, and uh, no one back where I just was. There's some tanks below me, and then there's their main base, which uh, I am not very keen to go into alone, but I'm just kind of reconnoitering and uh, looking at what there is there, and then over this way, I spot two guys, and... Um, I don't know why, but when I was actually playing, I did not notice that I had spotted two guys. I thought there was only one up there, and uh, you'll very clearly see that in a second when I actually go up this tower. So now we're moving. I'm angling a little bit more to the left, one, because the path is over there. Two, I want to be as far away from those tanks as possible, because since I am playing at m as a medic, sorry, um... Well, there's really nothing that I can do against a tank, and there's a friendly tank that pushed way too far forward, gonna explode, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I can pretty much only take out infantry here. So you see, this is the only guy I thought was up here, so I'm gonna take my time, line up the shot so he dies quickly from a headshot, and I'm gonna start taking fire from behind. So I'm gonna shoot this guy, I have my little health generator on, which is gonna save me there, and, uh, I notice there's one more guy and I'm actually going to be able to take him down and uh, barely surviving that you can see one more shot would have killed me with the way my health was in the bottom right and uh, now my shields are gonna regenerate so barely survive that one so at this point I'm gonna run over this way and uh, try to regenerate my health some more and also kinda see where I'm gonna go next so I see some guys on the hill over there, but there's a tank blocking the way. And I figure at this point that I'm not really going to make it over there. Uh, but I'm going to be an idiot and try anyway. And it, I start taking fire from the back. So I'm going to turn around and actually kill this guy. And then I'm going to run down here and the tank barrel swings and I know it's over. And there I go. So <laughs> that's the end of a pretty cool little run. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. That's going to be the end of this video. And I will see you all soon with some more Planetside gameplay. Thank you for watching.